Hi, this is Lena Chen with Sex Really, and today we're going to talk about IUDs. Here I am, about to get my first IUD. The IUD, or the intrauterine device, is the most popular form of contraception worldwide. In America, however, this isn't the case. Only 2% of American women have been using the IUD over the past couple decades. According to a recent Newsweek article, the IUD is making a comeback, especially among young women who are after birth control that is effective, long-term, and affordable. I'm one of those young women. Back in October of 2009, I decided to get an IUD. So I'm going to MGH right now, Massachusetts General Hospital, to get my IUD. I was getting really frustrated with birth control. I felt like the hormonal impact on my body was way too severe. I didn't want to do something like the patch. I didn't want to do something like the shot. Um, I specifically wanted something that was low in hormones because my experience was the pill was so bad and I just wanted to avoid that again. For me, getting the IUD is like discovering the holy grail of birth control. Yet until 2005, the FDA did not approve the IUD for women who had never previously been pregnant or had previously given birth. Why was this the case? Here's a brief history lesson. In the 1970s, the Dalkin Shield, a defective model of the IUD, caused infertility and even death among thousands of American women. Today's IUDs are much safer, but it took a long time for the stigma to wear off. A whole new generation of young women are today embracing the IUD. According to Newsweek, IUD usage rates have risen by 161% since 2005. Between January 2008 and January 2009 alone, IUD insertion rates increased by 23%. Uh, in the next year or two, I'm planning to get an IUD, and there are a few reasons for this. One, it's very cost-effective, especially through the insurance that I have. It's covered completely, and so that means that I won't have to be paying for birth control pills for the next five to ten years, uh, which really <laughs> adds up. And another reason is that it's so easy. You just it, insert it and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to remember to take a pill or put your patch on or insert a ring or use another barrier method. You obviously have to remember condoms, but that's something that I do anyway, so it's not anything that I have to do on top of that. And it just seems like it has so many benefits and very few drawbacks as far as contraceptive methods go. More and more young women are turning to the IUD as a long-term contraceptive solution. Is the IUD right for you? Here are some facts to consider. There are two kinds of IUDs sold in America. Hormonal IUDs sold as the Marina and copper IUDs which are known under the brand name Paragard. The IUD is fitted into the uterus through the cervix. And though the Marina and the Paragard are both only 1.25 inches tall, the insertion process can be extremely painful. Several of my personal friends have IUDs, and each of them has reacted a little bit differently to the insertion process. Some had extreme, extreme pain um, when the IUD was inserted. Basically couldn't get out of bed for a couple days and were lying around. Uh, but a couple of them really had no problems at all. And the ones who did have problems, um, for the most part, the pain went away. Some women don't feel a thing, so don't freak out. You may be one of the lucky ones. Um, actually, surprisingly, not painful at all. Um, I think the only pain was, like, they, they put some numbing cream in and that kind of hurt. But other than that, um, it's very uneventful. It took, like, five minutes, and now uh, they're all done. If it is painful, what you'll probably feel is similar to contractions or extremely bad cramping, similar to what you might feel during a period. So here's a word of advice for women who are sensitive down there. Do not do what I do, which is to go into my appointment with absolutely no painkillers at all. This is one situation where you're going to want to be as drugged up as possible, just in case. As with any form of birth control, some users may experience side effects. So a lot of the side effects vary from woman to woman, just like any other method, especially with the Mirena, which is a hormonal method of contraception. The first couple months were pretty rough. Well, not like really rough, but um, 
I did have some spotting, and then originally, like, for the first day only, I had some cramps. But then after that, it pretty much has become a non-issue. I like it a lot because my hair is a lot lighter, and um, just in general, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's one of those things that you just have to see if it works for you. The good news is that it can be removed at any time by a medical professional. Your body will go back immediately to its previous state. There should be no long-term side effects at all. Are you an IUD user or thinking about becoming one? Let us know your comments and thoughts on the sexreally.com website. This is Lena Chen for Sex Really. See you guys next time.